Good morning one and all myself Dr Rashmi Joshi Sabalkar assistant professor department of zoology Shri RLT College of Science Akula Maharashtra Friends we are studying since 5 days what are renewable energy sources and it is the need for future many lectures and videos you have attended and studied solve the question i also so you got much more knowledge about renewable energy sources but today's my topic is waste to energy the previous lecture you heard and the next lecture this lecture is on business opportunities in waste to energy sector government of india had launched a very good plan for waste to energy conversion so we will see what is this plan of government of india so welcome to eai now friends what is this eai the plan that is launched by indian government we will study here what is eai eai is india's leading business catalyst for clean energy environment and sustainability sector through our offerings in strategic and market intelligence partnership facilitation and business promotions for clean energy and environment sectors we contribute to india's sustainable growth and development this is eai now eai is energy alternatives india catalyzing clean technology in india this is eai helping your renewable energy business take off where do we operate where do this eai works in all primary renewable energy sectors for example wind energy solar energy solar or thermal energy emerging clean tech biofuels and biomass etc etc now first of all we will introduce the topic of business opportunities the high volatility in fuel prices in the recent past and the resulting turbulence in energy markets has compelled many countries to look for alternate sources of energy for both economic and environmental reasons with growing public awareness about sanitation and with increasing pressure on the government and urban local bodies to manage waste more efficiently the indian waste to energy sector is poised to grow at a rapid pace in the year to come the dual pressing needs of waste management and reliable renewable energy source are creating attractive opportunities for investors and project developers in the waste to energy sector business opportunities business opportunities are present in every component of the waste to energy value chain friends it is a chain many steps are processed when many step through many steps the waste is processed and in this chain there are many business opportunities for we people the varied business opportunity that exists along the municipal solid waste to energy value chain has been discussed below now municipal solid waste to energy value chain first one is primary collection and segregation of inerts dry organics and others when this municipal solid waste is collected it is called as primary collection and segregation of inerts dry organics and others at this step or at this stage of primary collection there are many opportunities for we people the one is first is collection of reusable plastics and metal etc for sale in local market then waste processing and sell rdf pellets to biomass power plants next mobilizing construction 
debris to make tiles and bricks. Now in the second stage of MSW to energy value chain, separation of wet organic wastes. The wet waste of organic is, it gives us business opportunities as production and sale compost to biofertilizer firms, biogas based power generation from sludge for selling it to the grid. The next step and the third stage of MSW to energy value chain is secondary collection and storage. At this stage, maintenance of transfer stations, high throughput screening of materials for recycling, energy recovery and landfill disposals. In the fourth stage of MSW to energy value chain, recycling of wastes. At this stage, recyclable commodity transactions from transfer stations, sale of recycled plastics or metal granules, then conversion of processed wastes to industrial commodities. Now friends, in the next stage that is transportation and logistics. Transporting solid waste from the source to the landfill or to the processing center for energy recovery. Revenues from automobile manufacturing and sales to corporate bodies and contract holders etc. The next stage MSW to energy recovery. Production of machineries and equipments for energy recovery technologies. Decentralized technology installations power generation and sale of power, production and sale of processed organic feed stocks from MSW, income from certified emission reductions, CERs. The next step is management of wastes at dump sites. Here, two opportunities are there, design and construction of secured landfills, urban landscape development at abandoned landfills, now, the last step for MSW to energy value chain is organization or financing for service and value chain enterprises. Depth and equity financing. The government gives finance to those companies who work in this service sector. Now friends, Owning and Operating Solid Waste Management Facilities See friends, Indian government actively promotes the private sector participation in MSW value chain through development of defined business models on contract term basis. The various business opportunities and models for private sector participation in Indian Municipal solid waste value chain are summarized in the following table. Operation in MSW First, collection, transportation, and cleaning. Average tenure of the project is 3 to 8 years. Next one, development of transfer station and transportation. Average tenure of the project is 20 years. Development of sanitary landfills and post-closure maintenance, 3 to 20 years. Integrated MSW management, 20 to 30 years. Now, companies that could benefit from the waste to energy sector. Companies in domains such as renewable energy, solar, wind, biomass, etc. Engineering, procurement and constructions, that is EPCs, transportation and logistics, sanitation and environment, small and large scale power plants, facilities, management, etc. will be ideally suited for the waste to energy business. The table below outlines the type of companies that will be benefited in each part of the waste to energy value chain. Now friends, look here, segregation of dry waste, reusable inerts, etc. Recycling companies, rag pickers, other informal sector participants. Now, at this stage of segregation of dry waste, reusable inerts, etc., 
these three opportunities are available for we people or the companies or ngos working in the waste to energy sector the next one is segregation of weight waste and processing farmers fertilizer companies agro market enterprises other informal sector participants then transport and logistics it provides fcps locomotive manufacturing companies heavy and light then private vehicle service stations transport agencies part time workers under contract then the next step is storage and secondary collection in this also it also provides the opportunities for epcs construction companies msw junk shop owners logistic services the next step is recycling of wastes epcs material recovery facilities intermediate material processing cottage units environmental engineering companies small and medium junk shop owners msw waste to energy recovery technology providers and fabricators ipps and cpps service techniques technicians producers and dealers of msw derived rdf pellets management of waste and landfills epcs civil infrastructure developers friends these are the opportunities which government of india had given us by accepting these opportunities we get the lifelong or some years of contracts for earning and boosting the economy through accepting this waste to energy we can develop our india clean energy renewable energy sources will be also developed and it will be the very nice chance for we people to grab these opportunities given by india indian government thank you thank you friends